this way. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? There we go. Oh, every time I get connected, it's a different button I have to push for my audio. It's either this one or this one. I never know which one's going to work. There's not really a testing feature in live, so welcome everybody. Birdie here with Redbird Designs, and I'm just going live this afternoon to do a quick little fun New Year's Eve painting um, and just visit with you guys. So if you're able to watch, say hi. Let me know that I uh, can see you, so say something in the comments so I can see comments. I'm going to keep my other device up here too. And we'll make sure that we stay connected. Okay, so um, this uh, New Year's Eve, Happy New Year uh, painting. Uh, we're going to paint this today. And if you'd like to paint along with me and would like the tracer of this, just message me and I'd be happy to send that to you. Um, I would put it in the comments, but Facebook doesn't allow me to do uh, PDFs. I can't upload files. I could upload an image, I suppose, and maybe that would work. But if you'd like to pin along with me um, and you want the tracer, just message me and I'd be happy to send that to you. So we'll put the, that aside. Let's see if I can keep it in the screen a little bit here. All right. Um, so, how was everyone's Christmas? Did you guys, do you have plans for New Year's Eve? Any big plans? So, I've got just an 8x10 uh, um, mixed media paper here. Um, and so I'm just going to paint on that and then I'm going to create a nice border around. So what I'm going to do is just tape off all the edges. I'm just going to eyeball it. But this is going to give me a nice clean white border all the way around my art. And it just kind of gives it that finished look. Plus it will help hold my paper down for me. Let's see if I can see who's joined. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Kathy. Let's see. Good afternoon, Veronica, Holly. Okay. So... Um, and if you do it this way, just make sure to kind of give your edges just a nice uh, rub down to kind of seal that down so it doesn't, your paint doesn't leak underneath. Okay, I think we're still going good. All right, um, let's, uh, I'm going to use, let me show you the paints I'm using. I'm going to use a white and a black, which I don't have. Hey, Will. I think Will has my black. Can you hand me a black? He's filling paint cups for me. I think he took my black. Yep, okay. White and black in this one, and then we've got this uh, purple pansy, just a nice bright but dark purple for this one. You could use any color that you like. You could do a dark blue, um, you could do a dark red, a dark green would be pretty. Uh, whatever you have on hand or your favorite color. Um, and then I've got a classic gold metallic color and then I also added some uh, extreme glitter gold paint in there. The other thing that I use to create this that's really handy are some paint pens. So let me grab my paint pens. I used a gold for the glasses and then just a black for the lettering. Let's see. 
So if you're just joining, we're just hopping on today to do a quick little painting, something fun for the new year. And I, um, if you'd like to paint along or paint later with me, uh, let me know. Shoot me a message in the uh, comments and I'd be happy to send you the tracer. Okay. I can see comments on one spot, but not the other. Let me see. I can see, I got too, too many devices here. Okay, so let's see. Happy New Year, Sandra. Hi, Michelle. Michelle needs more glitter paint. Yes, you can't have too much metallic or glitter paint. Um, super fun stuff. Okay, so I've got my tracer, and then what I'm going to use is some graphite paper. Um, shiny side goes down, so there's a shiny side, and then the dull side goes up. And then I'm just going to lay my tracer over this here. And then I'll just give it a quick takedown and then we'll get that transferred over. Oh, there we go. Now I'm starting to see some comments. Okay, so I'm going to grab my pencil here real quick and I'll get these transferred on. I'm only going to start with... Actually, let's wait and do the transfer later. Let's get our background in because our colors are pretty dark and it's going to cover up our transfer anyways. So we'll transfer after we do the background. So we're going to use a combination of um, the purple and I'm actually just going to take this purple and put it right on my paper and then I'm going to add a little bit of black to that. So I'll add that to my palette here and then we will um, also add some streaks of white. I'm going to use my large flap for this. And I'm just going to get this gray or this purple down. Spread it across. And I want to do my brush strokes up and down to create this um, feel of things maybe falling in the background. Maybe there's lights in the background or glitter falling in the background. So using this up and down brush stroke helps achieve that. So we're going to go up and down and then I'm going to dip it in the white and I'll streak some white through there. And then I'm going to dip it in the black and streak black through there. And we'll just rotate between those colors. You don't need to wash your brush. We're just kind of blending the three colors together. And that is it. Super easy background. I'm just going back and forth all the way from top to bottom so I get a nice even brush stroke there. Okay, I'm going to just blow dry this real quick so we can go on to the next step. about the noise there. Do you need this? Will? Okay. All right, so now that it's dry, we can do our transfer. Alright, 
So back to what I was saying earlier, I'm just going to transfer on my uh, champagne or wine glasses here. Start with that, and then after I get those painted in, we will transfer the lettering in. So it's a two-part process for the transfer. And I love the geometric design of this. Just simple triangles and lines, and then a few circles at the top. So make sure I got everything. It's a super simple background. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the lines in there, but I've got my triangles in, and this is where I'm gonna use my uh, gold marker. And I don't know if you've ever used a paint marker, but if you haven't, um, typically they come where the tip doesn't have any paint in it yet, so you give it a shake, and then you just depress the tip inside and wait for the paint to fill up and then um, coat the, the tip here. Um, and so that's called priming it. So we just prime it, we get it to fill up, and then it's ready to go. And these paint markers are super awesome for fun little projects like this. They are so easy to use. And they're great for lettering. So we have a long weekend ahead of us, and I think I'm going to use the time to do a little organizing. I always feel the need to organize after Christmas. Anybody else? <laughs> Seems like we get so much new stuff, which is awesome, but then we have to find a place for all that stuff. And so I always feel the need to do the deep cleaning after Christmas. it that's her wine glass or champagne glasses I guess martini glasses maybe and I'm gonna grab my sponges here I forgot I used those time to declutter yes and especially after the holidays when you're unwrapping and boxes everywhere and it just seems like there's just tons of stuff everywhere. Um, okay, so let's move on to creating our uh, drink bubbles. I'm going to use the classic golden metallic paint for this. And get some of that on my palette. And then I'm gonna use these fun um, sponge daubers. I think I got a pack of these, three of them, at the dollar store, um, and that you can get these at any craft store. So I'll just load it up, and then I'm going to tap some of that paint off. So I don't want it to be too filled with paint. You don't want it to be gloopy here, otherwise you'll get kind of a messy bubble out there. So just a nice even coat. And then we will come out and just depress it on our canvas. Just a little twist helps. I get that paint in the right spot as well. Put one down here, and 
So that's how I got the bigger bubbles, and then I've also got these smaller bubbles, so I'm going to use the back of that, just the wood handle part, and I'm going to also then just dip that in the paint, make sure that it's not too full, and I get a gloopy, blobby circle, and we'll just add a few of these out here. when you're thinking about them, you're kind of trying to think of how the bubbles are kind of moving up in the sky there. Okay. All right, so I'm going to wrap this in just some a wet one until I can wash it. And we can now do our lettering. So I've also got some smaller little bubbles on mine that I used just with that glitter gold. So we'll do that here in just a minute. Um, but let's see, I'm just gonna cut this actually so I can lay it on my paper without getting my bubbles wet. Perfect. And I'll get a little piece of tape. So did you see my new paint uh, storage? That was the start of my need to organize and declutter. I did that and now I'm getting ready to organize some cubbies I have. with maybe new shelves and new um, storage tubs. Organizing and rearranging stuff is kind of my favorite thing. I know it's not everybody's. Got the happy up here. There we go. All right, and then for the lettering, I am going to use um, this paint pen. So this paint pen, this the gold came from Amazon. It's Artistro Medium Point and it's a water-based and then this one i got um art skills from either sam's club or sam's club or costco i want to say it's a sam's club thing so we'll get it primed make sure it's not going to get deposit too much paint We 
get this lettering in. Just trace our line work. Easy peasy. So if you guys didn't know, we have um, a new subscription craft box called the Joy Box. Where it's our goal to bring you a little creative joy every month. And today is the last day to sign up for the January box. So we have a limited number of boxes and right now we have about 20 left to offer. Um, so today's the last day to get signed up for the January box and we will ship those on the 5th. If you're local, um, we will uh, schedule a time where we will deliver them if it works for you or um, if that doesn't work they will be available for pickup after the 5th and uh, we will contact you if you're local before all of that happens to make sure that the delivery isn't sitting on your store your doorstep for too long or if you'd rather pick up you can do that too but it's thirty seven dollars a month and you get everything you need to create um, a craft in the box sometimes it will be one sometimes you know one bigger craft or it might be a couple smaller ones for the January box we are creating Valentine's stuff Valentine decor and so we have a um, a palette heart that we're gonna create that has the words be mine on it and then we have um, a banner that has hearts scored into it and then it also has words that will glue on top laser cut words Um, and then the banner says love and then it also comes with a little shape uh, house shaped sign that says love grows here so they're all laser cut elements that come unfinished and then we will paint them together so if you join the joy box You'll get an email from me inviting you to the private Facebook group and that in, is where we'll go live to teach you how to create your joy box elements. And then um, those are going to typically happen on the 15th of the month. But if you can't make it, they will be recorded and saved so that you can do it another time. There we go. All right, so let's get some of this fun glitter out. <laughs> My husband hates glitter, so I say the word glitter, he walks by and he's like, but it's liquid glitter, so it's not going to get everywhere. Okay, so we're going to let the words dry because um, I did actually add the glitter paint onto my black letters. I don't know if you can see that shine. Mm, there we go. Kind of see some of that glitter in the black. It really just makes it look super awesome. And then I also have some just smaller um, drink bubbles with that glitter. So we'll let the black dry and we will do the smaller bubbles up on top here so i'm just going to drop just small little bits of that glitter there the glitter paint actually comes in this milky um, opaque uh, paint type 
look, but it does dry clear, and so what all you're left with is the glitter below. Or it's kind of like glue. It comes out white and dries clear. So if you're just hopping on, we're just doing a quick little Happy New Year's Eve uh, hand-lettered art quote. Something fun, easy to do. If you would like to paint along, um, this is going to be recorded and saved so you can catch it um, another time on the replay or whenever. And I do have the tracer available for this, so I would be happy to share that with you. If you'd like that, just message me and I will um, email that to you or get it to you somehow. I'd put it in the comments for you to grab right away, but Facebook doesn't allow us to upload files. Um, I can't upload PDFs or anything like that. Okay, so they look really white right now. Like I said, they're going to come out milky looking um, and then once it dries like glue, it will be clear and then all you see is this really great gold glitter. Okay, and I think these paint pens are awesome, not only to letter with, but they dry super fast. So we are ready to glitter those up next. So I'm just going to go right over that black with my glitter paint. So I really enjoy creating these little fun, um, easy art pieces with the hand lettered in them, little quotes and whatnot. So we were thinking of creating a group where we do one a month, something, a new quote with an easy piece of art behind it. And we were thinking of calling it, well, my, mer my first thought is, uh, would be something like clipboard quotes or the clipboard collection. Because my idea would be is to create these pieces of art that you could put on a clipboard. And these can be painted black or whatever color your decor is. And then they have the little, um, uh, clip on the top here that you can pull out and then hang on your wall and then interchange these once a month um, with these fun pieces of art um, that have a quote on them. So if you guys think that would be fun, give me a thumbs up or say yes, let's do it. quick little 30 minute pieces of art that you change out of your clipboard. Yes to the group. 
Michelle, great. I think it would be fun. You would have access to the tracers. Supply lists. And then of course, because we have the laser, we could possibly offer engraved clipboards kind of like an add-on, something you could customize and purchase separately from the group, obviously. But you could put your name here or something, another little quote that you would still see above the art or below the art. Okay, there we go. So I know it's hard to see. As soon as I get done, I'll do the big reveal and take the tape off and then we will um, I'll bring it up closer to the camera so you can see that how amazing that glitter looks okay last thing I want to do is I want to add some white accents to the um, the glasses and um, my lettering so I'm just grabbing my tiny liner brush and I'm going to just add a couple white streaks on the inside here of a few of my glasses back here. Just to help them stand out a little bit better. And then let's add a little bit of white as a shadow to our letters so that we can see those. So I'm concentrating on just hitting the bottom of my letters. And you could also use a paint pen for this too. Um, probably you'd want to make sure it was like a, a thin one, fine, fine tip, as opposed to those the medium point that I used for the black lettering. But just a little bit of some white underneath. It's really going to help these stand out a little bit better. If your background was a little bit lighter in color, if you used um, a lighter purple or maybe you didn't have any black in the background, you could definitely see it a lot easier, the lettering. Hitting a couple spots here. Trying to see if I got all the right spots. There we go. I think that's good. So let's take this tape off. satisfying part well not really but revealing the taped parts is pretty satisfying so you can kind of 
see my glitter has started to dry so that milky white has turned into awesome little glitter bubbles but then a happy new year also has that fun glitter on it there we go and then it would fit in our little clipboard that we can then hang and have we can stain these so if you guys are interested in a group like that, let me know. I would love to start something up. Um, like I said, it would just be a, a private group um, where we would go live maybe once a month and do some sort of fun, easy art um, background with a fun quote, holiday themed or just um, positive uh, encouragement. So um, we get the creative benefits of making the art and then seeing that positive quote throughout the month is even um, an added bonus. So, let's see if I can see anything else. Make sure I'm not missing any questions. Okay. All right, guys, I just wanted to hop on and do that with you. Um, I hope you all have a happy new year. Um, I'm sure we're all looking forward to 2021 and the um, keeping it positive and hopeful for the new year. Um, and we will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.